Welcome to ESPN's College Football Saturday, celebrating 20 years of college football on ESPN. Tonight, the number two Miami Hurricanes take on the Boston College Eagles. It is a mild evening, but we will tell you that it also is an extremely humid evening. Rain yesterday, but it went away today and beautiful blue skies today in the Chestnut Hill area. Brian Monroe will kick it off. Blackman, the deep man, along with Horace Dodd, and we're underway. Short kick, ticket at the 10-yard line by Dodd, and Dodd will not even make the 20-yard line. Is very good coverage by the Miami Hurricanes under special teams. So let's take a look at the starters. First of all, we talk about Quentin Porter, a young man who was out of Portland, Maine, very capable thrower. Very tall, can see over that offensive line at 6'4", 224 pounds. That's Adams in motion, and they go play action. Rolls it out, and he gets at it. 25 to the 30, up the sideline, gets by a tackle and is over midfield. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds back at the 36-yard line. But it would have been over 45 yards had he not stepped out of bounds. Flag goes down, running play. Derek Knight, very short yardage, right up the middle. Fly ball foul, illegal formation, offense, five yards. And then the dead ball call is going to be after that. Dead ball, personal foul, defense, 15 yards, first down. Things calm down here in a moment. We're going to give you some starting lineups, but that's the way it's been in the first two plays. A pass thrown incomplete over the middle on offense. Derek Knight at tailback. Greg Toll, who's nursed a knee injury, is back. Hazard and Adams, the wide receivers. They're very good at tight end. Sean Ryan is the starter there. And the offensive line, Hoffman and Snead, the two best of that offensive uh, line. And they'll have their hands full with a very, very good defensive front by Miami. Running play hit behind the line of scrimmage is Knight defensively for Miami. Carroll, Will Fork, good heavens, almost 350 pounds. We'll call his name a lot tonight. Harris and Atkins, the two guys in the outside, extremely good pass rushers. Linebackers very active, and it all starts with Jonathan Vilma right there in the middle and in the secondary. Roll, Taylor, Sykes, and Alfonso Marshall. So it's going to be third down, BC, and they need to take it down to the 44-yard line of uh, the Hurricanes. And that pass for Knight. Let's go Parrish is the deep man. Gets a low pass, gets the kick away, and it is a driving spiral. Parrish all the way back to the 8-yard line. Up the far sideline, breaks off the tackle at the 18, still on his feet, 30, at the 40, and he's gone. Roscoe Parrish is going to take this about 92 yards for a touchdown. And Miami, as Mike Gottfried just said, this is one area that they could have an edge in tonight. And they're on the scoreboard. Still no offense on the field. After a low pass, a very good job there. The extra point attempt is up. And it is good. So you could see Brock Berlin on the far sideline saying, hey, I, I don't mind if the offense doesn't have to come out right now. Spot me every point that you can. Defense, penalty is declined. The extra point is good. It's not the way you want to start if you're Boston College. You want to keep this game as close as you possibly can. So 92 yards and the kick return by Parrish. We'll take a break. Seven to nothing. Hurricanes on top. Right back. The sideline. Here's Monroe's kick. This one he gets all of. It's going to be five yards deep in the end zone, and BC will not return it. And that was uh, that was a very smart thing to do, quite frankly. So they get another set of downs. Under pressure, going to be hit, and he is sacked. And 75, Vince Wilford, along with D.J. Williams. The he's, he's in that area. He's in that level. Loss of six on the play. Knight on a draw play straight ahead. He'll take it out to around the 16. Wilford again making the tackle. Pat Ross, the center, sophomore out of Cincinnati, Xavier, the center. Comes out pointing out blocking assignments. Zings this pass, and it's well overthrown. An incomplete addition. He is uh, at his own 45, and here's the kick. High driving spiral. This is a good kick. Parrish on the run has to let it go, and he's going to take it at the 33-yard line. Gets by the first two, and now is going to be knocked down hard at the 39-yard line. And probably the most important thing to mention, his girlfriend is Miss Louisiana. <laughs> Very important. 
So Miami from the 40 yard line and he's going to throw on first down zings it and that one is low. It's Frank Gore he's been nursing a little bit of an injury but he's going tonight. Hill is the fullback. Moore and, Moore and Beard the wide receivers. Kellen Winslow the All-American at tight end. Up front with the offensive line Eric Winston this time last year he was a tight end. They have now moved him to tackle. Kerry Rodriguez Myers and Butler rounding out the rest of an offensive front. And there's a look at the Kellen Winslow senior watching his uh, son who is a junior play tonight in this ball game and he has truly become an outstanding college player on the eye formation. This is Gore and Gore is going to be stopped after a gain of only three of Austin College the down four. This is their strength. Kiwanuka Martin Goodwin and melting the linebackers for BC. They're very good Flores Henderson and Ott and in the secondary the best athlete in the group will Blackman not only plays corner he's a return guy cook and stands with two excellent safeties and Jasmine Williams is the corner over on the right third down and they need to take it squarely to the 50 yard line to keep this drive going. Berlin from the shotgun. Here comes pressure from Kiwanuka. Now he's going to run it and dumps the pass off and they hit on Gore and he drops the pass. Ryan Monroe, the punter. The left footer gets a high wobbly spiral away. Blackman signals for the fair catch and he makes it at the 24 yard line. Tom O'Brien hoping that his offense can get something started right here. Wings this pass, has it complete to the 26 yard line to Joel Hazard. 7 0. Miami on top by way of a 92 yard punt return by Parrish. Running play comes to Horace Dye. Fights his way out of the 30, out to the 33 yard line. So it's going to be third down, and they need, oh, about a half yard to hold on to the football. Down 7 0, and they need something to happen right here, and I don't know if he got the first down. Here comes a late flag. 98 may have brushed the face mask. Baraka at Derek Knight checks back into the lineup, speaking of those who can play. And he gets the handoff, tries the right side. There's nothing there. He's back. He will be knocked down. They give it to Knight again, tries the right side, fights it out over the 40, up to around the 41. But see the numbers on Knight, fourth in the NCAA in rushing average. Here's a pass, got it complete. And the tight end, Dave Ryan, Sean Ryan, makes the catch, and it'll be enough for the first down out to the 49 yard line. And uh, an integral part of the. Uh, Boston College offense Ooh. hit as soon as the ball is given to him by Jonathan Vilma. And I mean, Derek Knight just, Bichetta comes in at tight end. Porter sets in the pocket over the middle, throws it behind a wide open Tony Gonzalez has taken Will Fork the last two years. And in fact, last year graded out extremely well against Will Fork down in Miami. That pass too far. Incomplete yards, but he's still averaging 50 on the night. Low pass, can't get the ball. It is loose, recovered by Boston College. It'll be first down and 10 for Miami at the 29 yard line. Has put them in a situation to fall into a big hole here in the opening quarter. To the right side, it is Frank Gore, and he will go down to the 26 yard line before Ray Henderson. He may throw here, Ron. Short. Gets it out. That's Winslow, and he'll take it inside the 20, close to the first down. In fact, now they will spot him beyond. He has become an extremely good blocker, something that he's working very hard on. Berlin looking for the end zone, and he goes for Winslow. Did he catch it at the two-yard line? He came down with it. He took it away in between three defenders and came down with the football. Three guys, but he has Kellen Winslow, who's six-five. The rest of those DBs are six foot one, five eight, six foot. Two tight ends. That's Winslow in motion. And here's Gore in the sweep. Stiff arm. Touchdown, Miami. And they made it look easy. Cook was the closest man, and he'll walk it in for the touchdown. Very Other thing. difficult. Petey with the extra point attempt is up, and he's perfect. So let's let's take a look as we go to break one more time at this catch by Kellen Winslow. There are three defenders around him. Crash right here. He brings it down, folks. He has that with one arm. It was complete, and they score. We'll take a break. It's been a completion of that pass right there, and they probably would not have had an opportunity to go to Pasadena. This is Blackman from the sixth. 
20, 25. Blackman very capable as a return guy. Best athlete on this BC team. There's some surprise people that uh, they are sitting where they are. Horace Dodd in the ball game. Quentin Porter looks over the defense. Hands it off to Dodd again and breaks a tackle and through a hole at the 40 yard line. And it's going to be third down BC. See if BC can pick up this first down here. They need that desperately. They roll the pocket. Here comes the pressure. Throws it complete, incomplete. Couldn't hold on to the ball at the 48 yard line. College has for this Miami defense, third and two. Going to throw the football, and there's the hit by Jonathan Vilma. When you got that kind of speed, it's a check out of it. Yep. Driving Sproul trying to kick it away from Parrish. It bounds, and he's going to take it at the 11 yard line. Cuts back to the open side of the field, gets a couple of blocks, and now he's going to be tackled way back at the 8 yard line. Gore. Takes it at guard and he'll bring it out over the 10 yard line with two and a half minutes left in this opening quarter. 14 to nothing, Miami. It's Kevin Beard in motion. But Gore gets the handoff, bounces it to the outside, nothing doing, and it's Kibanuka. Berlin will go from a shotgun formation. And that's Frank Gore just to his right. All the way back in his end zone. Drills the ball, got Winslow out at the 15-yard line, and he'll take it for the first down. Special teams, here's the punt. Line drive, not going to turn over, and take it at the 46-yard line across midfield, and this will be far and away the best field position. Not doing too well on offense. Derek Knight back in a tailback, and they fake the reverse. Pressure from behind, going to go long, and it is incomplete at the 10-yard line. Now this time Quentin Porter the quarterback has split out way to the left side and a direct snap to Grant Adams and uh, there and this time Porter from a shotgun formation at the 45 third down and long and he's going to try to run it and stumbles at the 50 takes it inside the 45 but it'll be fourth down and they'll still need about four yards and that is the end of the first quarter so let's take a timeout. Miami 14 and BC nothing and it came by way of two special team errors on the part of the Eagles and Kettle Winslow came in to knock him down he is to go pretty low for this one end over end kick and it's going to hit at two yards deep in the end zone Brock Berlin again from the shotgun Fakes it to Gore, now throws the pass, got it behind the receiver, and still Kevin Beard makes the reception, and it is going to be enough for the first down and his ability around the pocket to try to get the pass away. Fakes it to Gore, out in the flat, has it complete. Wow, that is a good open field tackle by Brian Flores. Berlin has now hit five passes in a row he's five of seven for 45 yards they give it to Gore and a flag comes down from the umpire normally offensive holding so with the offensive holding now second down and 18 yards for the first gives it to Gore 25 at the 30 yard line Shows you what a back he is blitz coming from the middle by Boston College they pick it up over the middle that pass again well behind the intended receiver this and Larry Coker came over and said something to him about uh, you know that's okay but that was not his best sequence of the night fair catch is called for by Hasselbeck and makes it and then got knocked down at the 35 yard line well the BC fans now looking for something positive to happen Paul Peterson in the ball game at quarterback boy we've uh, got a flag already new snap right, count snap. full start offense five yards First down. Paul Peterson uh, is an older individual because uh, uh, he is he is Mormon and he has been on his mission. That ball too hard and too high. It's a difficult thing. He was not here for spring. No, that's that set him back. Second down and 15. Woolfork jumps offside and then throws the quarterback down. And there's your first down right there. That is just not smart. Strong. Dead ball. Offsides. Defense, contact foul, five yard penalty. Dead ball, personal foul, defense, 
15 yards, automatic first down. Another personal foul against the Hurricanes. Knight, draw play, bounces it to the outside, has five, has ten. His longest game of the night, it'll be 13 yards. So first down on the new line of scrimmage is at the 37-yard line. Blitz coming right up the middle, got a man, and throws interception, and that's going to be returned by Sean Taylor for a Miami touchdown. And Ron, you're just looking at a number one draft choice from Miami. He's only a junior, but the, he's as good a safety as there is in this country. Knocks it straight down home, and we'll take a timeout as we go back one more time and look at this interception by Sean Taylor, the junior out of Miami. Got a prep, makes the pick, and he's he's off and running. And as Mike said, he is a big kid, 6'3", 230, but runs extremely well. So it's 21 to nothing, Miami. Take a break. 67 yards and that return, Mike. And this one is going to come down about two yards deep, and it will be returned by Blackman. And Blackman is not going to make it back to the 20-yard line on that. If he lost the football, he might have had a touchdown because he had jumped the route. Quentin Porter back in the ball game, operating a quarterback on offense. Sets deep in the pocket, is hit, the ball is loose, Knight scrambles for it, and recovered by Boston College at the 15-yard line of his... He looked like he was 110% on that play right there. Third down and 13. Drops it right up in the middle, it's Knight, and he's going to be tackled at the 24-yard line. Down, Roscoe Paris. Line drive, and it hits it to 40, and BC with good coverage right there. And Miami is not going to be able to make a return up. Well, he said they were a work in progress, but it's it's hard to figure when you got that many great players. Forced out of the pocket, going to go long, and the ball is intercepted by BC at the 40. Back across midfield, Ryan Glasper with the interception. There's the hit on Berlin. I think he hit him in the helmet. I think they'll try to give the ball to Gore here and get something started. No, he's cheating up again. It might be a throw. Hard count. They give it to Gore. Gets a good lead block. Running hard inside the 40, and he is down to the 36-yard line. And there's six penalty, 60 yards against Miami. Another flag goes down. This is Gore. Still another flag, and he'll take it inside the 45, and it's going to be tackled at the 44. Has not been able to move the football Here against this defense. Offense, six men on the line of scrimmage, five-yard penalty, still first down. Berlin from the shotgun gives it to Gore, running hard, breaks one tackle at the 45, and takes it all the way out to the 50-yard line. Sets deep in the pocket, middle screen. Gore, what a great defensive play as number four, Jasmine Williams, been trying to get this defense going. Safety blitz, and they pick it up right in the middle. Berlin gets the pass away, got it to Beard, and he is going to be stopped well short of the first down at the 47-yard line. Today, Marshall. Monroe gets the kick away, I mean just barely. Very high, high kick in Hasselbeck. At the 14-yard line, will dodge straight ahead, puts your shoulder down, running hard out to the 20-yard line. Again, too tight in alignment for Boston College. Bootleg going to be hit and a sack back at the five-yard line by Baraka Atkins. Now you can see he looked like he grabbed him just inside of his shoulder pads in the front there. And the draw play back out to the 10. Now the 14 yard line is Horace Dodd. Wobbly spiral. Fair catch is called for and made by Parrish at the 49. Miami from the 49 yard line. You see movement. And it looks as though. Uh, Gardens. Four start. Offense. 
Five yard penalty remains first down. And he knows that uh, even though his team leads 21 to nothing, it has been a it's been a sloppy first half as Gore has hit at the line of scrimmage and a gain of about two. Just uh, four big mistakes by BC. Play action to Gore this time. Pressure coming from the backside. Should have been a hold called right there, and he throws the ball away. Third down, they need to take it to the 41 yard line. Berlin steps up, drills it, got it complete. There's your first down and more to Ryan Moore. Feels he's a strong arm quarterback. BC showing blitz, but they stay at home, and this is Gore. But a good surge off that left side. Here's where you got a tight end like Winslow. Gonna go under center as the clock was running out. Gets that pass complete to Beard. And Beard is going to be tackled at the 29 yard line, almost enough for the first down. We have 226 showing on the clock until halftime. Third and two, here comes the blitz. He's got an open shot at the quarterback, and he throws it complete. Good for the first down to Jason Gather. They have a first down at the 27 yard line, and this stadium has just gone silent. Far sideline, pass in and out of the hands of Jason Gather. Berlin, 10 of 15. 73 yards. Winslow in motion there. Pass got it incomplete at the 15 yard line. Berlin steps up. Safety valve. Gore at the 20. Takes it inside the 20, and he's right in the vicinity. Now Washington 56 checks back into the defensive lineup for BC. Now they string it out to the sideline. Gore able to turn the corner for maybe a yard. Getting some confidence in the quarterbacks. The 11th play of the drive. Jared Payton comes in a tailback. And that pass incomplete. Sets in the pocket. Third down pass is caught by Beard. And hit immediately is 32 yard attempt by Petey. Well, that uh, snap was fumbled and then got it back up in time, and the kick is good. So we'll take a timeout. Good job by Matt Carter. 24 to nothing, Miami. We'll be right back. Game plan that you went with in the first half. You got to open this ball game up, and throw the ball downfield. It's going to be Dodd. He'll return it. Crosses the 10 and is going to be stopped short of the 15 yard line. His daddy was a great one. And his son filling in uh, the same footsteps. That's Knight. Going to be tackled uh, just across the 20. And we had a face mask on. Derek Knight, when we talked, just a uh, really exemplary young fella and a good football player. Here he comes out on the screen. You see that burst of speed, and he's going to have about 12 yards on that play right there. He is a hard runner now. He yeah. said he'll lower his shoulder on those safeties. Well, Porter going to run, and he'll have the first down, but a slide takes it inside the 30 down to the 28-yard line. Jortino is coming in to attempt the 45-yard field goal. 49 is his longest. Good pass, plenty of distance on the kick, and... Wide right, no good. So we are at halftime of today. Head to the locker room. It's Miami 24 to nothing. Now here's Reese Davis, Trev Alberts, and Mark May with the Pontiac High Performance Halftime Report. Just a prayer as we prepare for the second half. Here's the kickoff. It'll be returned by Darnell Jenkins. Darnell to the 15, runs into his own man, and he'll be stopped at the 20-yard line. Boston College played well on defense. And here's Gore on the running play, and he'll take it for six yards. And the field goal is good, and that's how we stand at 24 to nothing. Peyton carries the ball, has the first down, and he's loose. Now, he has scored a couple of touchdowns. Of course, the son of Walter Peyton. Gets the ball again, running hard. This time a shorter gain. Second down and 10. Berlin holds on to it, drills the pass, and it is dropped. 
I'm telling you, Roscoe Parrish, the, and the line to make is the 49-yard line of Boston College. Berlin sets in the pocket, drills the ball, and has it complete for the first down at the 47-yard line to Ryan Moore. The Paul Cook showing blitz. They come with the linebacker, and that pass thrown incomplete from very quickly. Second down and 10. Berlin gets it away quickly in and out of the hands of his intended receiver at the very smart move to have that luxury when you're up 24 to nothing. Berlin screen pass. This is Peyton gets a block 45 down to the 40 and the fighting his way close to the first down. Fifth time that the Hurricanes have had to punt left footer sends us one very high end over in. They've got a couple of players down there. And it is going to go out of bounds inside the 10 yard line. And again, BC starts off with very poor field position. Mike gets the handoff and is going to go for very short yardage as he takes it right up the middle. That's the best drive they've had. Knight again bounces it up the middle. Boy, he got cracked hard by DJ Williams and pushed back. Grant Adams, the man to the top of your screen. As BC tries to spread him out on third down and across the middle very dangerous throw tonight that he will have attempted to punt tonight a high pass over his head out of the end zone it's safety. So special teams have uh, just laid an egg here tonight. And Shortino kicks it off. And this is going to come down. Roscoe Parrish will take it away from his teammate at the 15 and going to bring it back the other direction at the 30 at the 35 and then he gets collared just shy of the 40 yard line. Surprising thing is Turner ran for 150 yards against that Alabama defense but uh, Joe Nelvick the coach congratulations. Here's the reverse with Parrish and Parrish will be just short of the 50 yard line. Well, Big 12 the last two weeks has uh, shot themselves in both feet haven't they. First down, sets to throw and zings it, has it complete at the 37 yard line, and that's Jason Gathers. He set the world on fire today. You see BC showing blitz, and it's picked up, and the running play is not going to go for very much. Frank Gore has hit Paul Cook. Be more about that, but he is really envious. Running play from uh, that shotgun formation, and it's Gore. Breaks out of a tackle inside the 25. He's down around the 20. Stance will save the touchdown. Frank Gore will continue to get the football a lot. As Peyton comes into the lineup now. And Peyton high stepping. It breaks a tackle. 15 at the 10 down to the five yard line and is knocked out of bounds. And it puts Miami over 200 yards. Total offense for the night. They sweep it to the left side. Breaks out of a tackle and touchdown Miami. Kyle Cobia with the great block for Jared Payton. And the senior from Arlington, Illinois, scores easily. Which I haven't seen. And uh, far and away, Speedy knocks home the, uh, the extra point. That drive showed more consistency than any drive they've had tonight. So we'll take a timeout. Payton takes it to Paydirt and a new score, 33 to nothing. Miami on top. Well, he pooches that one, taken at the 16 by Blackman. And Blackman breaks out of a tackle, now grabbed by the back of the shirt, and is going to be stopped at, at around the 33 yard line. Unbelievable. In, yeah. in, in Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? Going to go long, far sideline, and just a little too tall. Alfonso Marshall with BC with the second down and 10. Quick throw. That's too tall for the tight end. Sean Ryan, the third down. They need to take the ball out to the 44 yard line as Adams comes in motion, drills it over the middle. Adams makes the catch, but he's short of the first down. Boy, that was a gutsy catch. It's been an adventure all night. That's a perfect pass right there. And a driving spiral, sending Parrish all the way back to the seven yard line. And this time they corral him, and he gets whacked hard out of bounds. Good job. Two tight ends, uh, Gore back in the line of the tailback, and he gets the handoff. You see him weaving his way. Being hit by Flores, the uh, Texas team has really had their problems running the football. 
Gore to the right side, going to have the first down, breaks it open into the secondary, crosses the 35 and out to the 40. Well, they fake it to Gore this time, and the pressure coming from Kiwi, and the pass is caught by Kellen Winslow, and he'll be short of the first down as he's tackled at the 48. As a wide receiver, he's now up to 252 pounds. That's what his head coach told us just this past week. That running play will be enough for the first down. Got it complete. Good for the first down, and that's Jason Gethers. The other has got three catches now for 32 yards. Berlin, 17 of 27, 139. And Peyton on the delay. Reese Davis will check. Second down, our score 33 to nothing. Miami on top. Brought the blitz and they picked it up nicely as uh, Peyton was the guy who did it and Roscoe Parrish. Work on the open date and you get ready for the rest of the season. Try to run the sweep, hit behind the line of scrimmage. Peyton breaks the tackle and he's going to fight his way down to around the 18 yard line. Jared Payton really has given uh, Miami's running game a lift. He has. He really has. He's played well all season long for that matter. Ball is fumbled as the handoff. They seem to have the collided at the 23 yard line and BC has it. Porter hands it off but Derek Knight tries the right side and there's uh, only a couple of yards. There. It's hard to describe but I think I'm hoping that he's having a good time out there because I'm not having a good time right here. And Knight again breaks it into the secondary. He's going to have about six yards on that carry. Quentin has just, uh, it's been motivation for him. Uh, he's a young man with a heavy heart. The only veteran is Derek Knight. Well, sets deep to throw on third down. Here comes the rush. He's going to try to carry it for the first down, and I think he's going to miss it by about a half a yard. You're right about schedule changes. <laughs> it may start happening after the weekend. <laughs> Well, here's a draw play, and they go for it on fourth down. Leon Williams will make the tackle, but Knight right up the middle puts a head down. It's going to be a gain of close to seven or eight yards. And this fellow's only 5'9, 207. Lops it over the middle and incomplete intended for Adam. Quite the same feeling about Derek Knight. Sets deep in the pocket, pressure from behind. Gonna run it and he'll have the first down as he takes it to the 31 yard line. Clock has run out. That is the end of the third quarter. So let's take a timeout with him. 33 to nothing. And BC trying to drive one in. We'll be right back. Well, here comes the shift. Longest drive of the night by BC. Tenth play. It started back at their own 23 yard line. Porter sets, steps up into the pocket, and is going to be tackled after a gain of a couple. Toledo about to spring the upset. Wow, 500 yards. Got a scramble with it. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, first and goal, Boston College. This is particularly for a large youngster. That's a career long, 22. Fade route, got it here, and he threw the interception. Ball is picked up by Alfonso Marshall. Under threw it. Cut. Brock Berlin spins and hands the ball off to Peyton. Berlin look in and then Moss the intended receiver. Berlin from the shotgun pressure off the edge. And that pass intercepted by Boston College picked off and taken it back and pushed out of bounds is Peter Sheen. That uh, carry right there by Derek Knight. Penetration again. The fact that I, I guarantee you that's what they huddled up and said. Here's the draw play. Knight at the 15. Still fighting inside the 10. And he's down to the 6. Reese Davis. Somewhere Rick Chris, the commissioner of the Mid-American, is sitting proud of this league and his coaches. Well, he should be. As Knight is hit and stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Straight ahead with the quarterback sneak, and he's got it. 
and he threw the interception to Marshall. Now they have a first and goal, and they give it to Knight, bouncing around inside the five, and he will score. So they avoid the shutout. Derek Knight and Shortino knocks it home. And we have a 33 to 7 ball game with 11:28 showing on the clock. So let's take a timeout. One more look at Derek Knight as he goes five yards for the score. Berlin tonight as a credit prepares to come into the lineup. Very high kick and returnable from the seven. That's Moss. And Moss 20, 25, and out to the 30 yard line. Crudup hands it off to Peyton. Sweeps to the right side and tries to stay in bounds. Being pushed on around the 35. And Safety blitz, and they ran right by him. Close to the first down at the 40. 15th, and of course, will be Toledo, Northern Illinois. All righty. Here's Peyton running hard, picks up the first down, and you can add about seven more yards on it. Of course, uh, last year played in a reserve role and uh, actually did a very nice job. As you see him scrambling for his life, he, he can really run. Lobs this pass, those it complete, and that's uh, Kevin Everett. In and that was my receiver downfield offense. Five yards from the previous spot remains first down. Five yards stepped off against the Hurricanes. They come with another blitz. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens here in the Big East. And I think we'll have some news shortly on exactly what they're going to do as Moss gets to carry again. Is all set. And for those of you who missed the fact that uh, actually Donna Shalady wanted us to make the announcement. Pressure on the kick. This is a good high hanging spiral. Flag is down. And the return comes back to the 25 yard line into the kick defense the penalty is the clock sets the throw pressure coming and boy he is going to be knocked down hard by Javon Manton uh, game uh, tough one for Boise bumbled the snap right up the middle was McClover and they need to take it all the way out to the 35 yard line about to go under six minutes left in our ball game. Draw play. And Knight right up the middle gets into the secondary, breaks the tackle at the 20, and takes it out to the 25. So anywhere between the second and third. Smart player, tough, big heart. Jenkins misplayed the ball. It was muffed and picked up by Boston College. And it'll come back to the 36-yard line. So the ball will be called dead where it was touched down by BC. And that's where they will scrimmage from. Crudup again operates a quarterback and throws the pass to Cobia. And he's going to be stopped at around the 43 yard line. Moss in the backfield. Kuda pans off to him and he is running too. And that's a nice defensive play. BC brings a blitz off the corner. Critter gets hit just as he delivers the pass, and it's uh, nope. Now for batting practice uh, before the game, eight at the 406 club. Uh, we ate there. Uh, Adrian put him out of business, and uh, it was Fenway is one of the best. Yep. Critter drills this pass, and it is intercepted on the near sideline by Larry Lester, and Lester back down the sideline. Still on his feet at the 35 and finally is going to go down just inside. You'd like to have something good happen to him here at the end of the game. About to go under three minutes left to play in the ball game. And Horace Dodd, talk about a tough defense. Ooh, that was John Chavis. That was a big win for them today. Drills this pass and uh, overthrown Ryan, the intended receiver. He's going to be a good quarterback for Boston College yet this year. Well, they rolled the pocket and uh, thrown a little hard for Cachetta. A little more than Quentin could uh, could handle as far as the way it went on fast forward. Well, when Roscoe Perry's fast forward at that punt return, that was it. That set him up. Peterson 
Wanted to go to his left. Mouse pulls up, throws the completion. That's a first down at the 15 yard line to Horace Dodd. Oh, yeah. We're talking about. They, they get the best pictures. Horace Dodd on the carry right there. Drilled that one in a nice defensive play as it was. Uh, I mean, what happened early in this ball game, though, was the nightmare that you just pray will never happen. Got it complete, and they'll go inside the 10 and down to the 5 with Horace Dodd. You know, it's interesting. For all the praise that they get, Larry said in our conversation the other day, he said, hey, we're still a question mark. Under a minute to play. Gets the snap, throws this pass a little low and kind of hard. Clock stopped with the incompletion of 43. And they go straight ahead with Knight, and he will score. Big part Dodd. 28 Dodd. Ball game. And he does. So let's take a timeout. 38 seconds left at our ball game. Miami 33 14. We'll be back for the final moments in just a second. You know, Miami's lined up looking for the pooch, and that's what he does. Very high. And uh, fair catch is called for by Cobia. One guy that doesn't like to see it is Jimmy Johnson. Well, he'll take a knee. Brock Berlin on the sideline with a smile and a visit with his uh, teammates as we're down to two and now down to one. And the Miami Hurricanes have not only won it, but they have won it convincingly. Our final score, Miami 33-14. to 14.